November 2025, Japan's XRism telescope just captured the first X ray image of 3I Atlas, and what it revealed violates every model we have for interstellar comets. An X ray halo 400,000 kilometers wide, Earth to Moon distance, with diffuse structure extending 3 million kilometers into space. That's not reflected sunlight. That's not optical glow. That's high energy photon emission in carbon nitrogen, and oxygen spectral lines, visible across multiple X-ray telescopes, including Maxi on the ISS and archived Erosita frames. The signature is so strong you can trace 3i Atlas's path across the X-ray sky from July through November like it's a pulsar, not a comet. Objects this small moving this fast shouldn't generate X-ray halos. Solar wind interactions can't explain emission zones three times the diameter of the sun. And here's what makes it impossible to dismiss. The shape is asymmetric and displaced, not aligned with solar wind direction the way normal charge exchange x-rays appear. Something inside or around 3i Atlas is pumping energy into surrounding space at levels that make it visible on instruments designed to study black holes and neutron stars. If you've been following this object and wondering when the data would cross from unusual to physically impossible, this is that threshold. Hit subscribe, drop a like, and let's break down what XRISM just revealed, because comets don't light up the X-ray sky, and 3i Atlas just did. Let's start with the image itself, because the first look tells you everything's wrong. XRISM's X-ray detector captured 3i Atlas with a bright core at the center. That part makes sense. High energy solar photons hitting dense gas near the nucleus, creating localized X-ray emission through charge exchange. Standard physics, expected. But everything around that core, not expected, not even close. The X-ray emission extends outward in a massive halo 400,000 kilometers wide. That's the distance from Earth to the moon. For a comet nucleus estimated at five to 10 kilometers across, that's an emission zone 40,000 times larger than the source object. And it doesn't stop there. X-RISM detected diffuse X-ray structure stretching nearly 3 million kilometers across, roughly twice the diameter of the sun, from a frozen rock supposedly melting under solar heating. An interstellar visitor that passed through the void for millions of years, dead and dormant, suddenly generating an X-ray footprint larger than our star. No model predicts this. Charge exchange X-rays from solar wind interactions create compact emission zones close to the nucleus where gas density is highest. You don't get multi-million kilometer halos from passive outgassing. The gas disperses. The density drops. The X-ray emission fades within tens of thousands of kilometers, not millions. And look at the shape. It's not spherically symmetric like solar wind interactions produce. It's asymmetric. Displaced extended in directions that shouldn't produce x-rays at all. If this were standard solar wind charge exchange, the brightest emission would align with the sun comet axis where solar wind flux is strongest. Instead, the structure is offset, suggesting energy is being injected from the object itself, not just from external solar wind collision. Now here's where it gets undeniable. XRISM isn't the only instrument that saw this. The team compiled a sky map showing 3i Atlas's trajectory from July through late November, and multiple X-ray observatories picked it up. Maxi on the International Space Station, archived Erosita frames, even optical field matching confirms the X-ray bump appeared in the exact patch of sky where 3i Atlas was located. That shouldn't happen. Interstellar comets aren't bright enough in X-rays to stand out against the Milky Way's background emission. The galactic center pumps out X-rays from hot gas, supernova remnants, and accreting black holes. Comets are faint, barely detectable even when major observatories point directly at them. You certainly can't trace their path across the sky like they're leaving a glowing trail, but 3i Atlas did. You can literally follow its trajectory on the X-ray sky map. It moved from one observing field to another, and each time telescopes captured it, the signature was there. Bright enough to be trackable. Persistent enough to show up across multiple instruments with completely different sensitivities and energy ranges. What does that mean? It means whatever is powering this X-ray emission isn't a brief flare or a one-time event. It's sustained. 
the object is continuously generating or releasing energy at levels that make it visible to instruments designed to study the most energetic phenomena in the universe. Black holes, neutron stars, galaxy clusters. A five kilometer chunk of ice and rock shouldn't appear on those same maps, but 3i Atlas does. Now let's talk about the spectrum, because this is where unusual becomes physically unexplained. When the team broke down the X-ray signal by energy, they expected background noise. Maybe a faint bump from reflected solar X-rays. Nothing structured. Instead, they got emission peaks lining up with carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen spectral lines. Not random noise. Chemically structured emission. That means 3i Atlas isn't just glowing from scattered sunlight, it's actively producing x-rays through atomic processes tied to specific elements. Normally this happens through charge exchange. Fast moving solar wind ions, mostly protons, collide with neutral atoms in the comet's coma. Electrons transfer from the neutrals to the ions, releasing energy as x-ray photons with characteristic energies matching the atoms involved. Carbon at 0.28 keV, nitrogen at 0.39 keV, oxygen at 0.53 keV. That mechanism works for dense cometary atmospheres where gas surrounds the nucleus in high concentration. But 3i Atlas is small. It's moving fast, 30 kilometers relative to the sun. And spectroscopic observations found minimal gas production before perihelion. It shouldn't have enough atmospheric density to create this kind of structured X-ray emission. Yet the signature is there, clear as day, Carbon, nitrogen, oxygen lines standing out above background. Not just detected, resolved with energy precision that confirms real atomic transitions, not instrument artifacts. So either 3i Atlas is shedding material far more efficiently than its size and velocity suggest, or there's a mechanism at work that doesn't fit the playbook we use for solar system comets. Maybe the object has subsurface reservoirs releasing gas in concentrated bursts. Maybe the interstellar medium surrounding it is denser than expected, creating charge exchange zones far from the nucleus. Or maybe, and this is the explanation nobody wants to touch, the X-rays aren't coming from passive gas-solar wind interaction. They're coming from active energy released by the object itself. Let's summarize what we're looking at because each piece alone is strange, but together they form a pattern that defies classification. Halo size, 400,000 kilometer wide, extending to 3 million kilov. No comet produces X-ray emission zones that large from passive outgassing. Sky trace, visible across multiple X-ray telescopes from July to November. Comets don't leave trackable X-ray footprints across months of observation. Spectral structure, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen emission, lines standing out above background, requires dense gas atmosphere or alternative energy mechanism. Asymmetric geometry. Emission displaced from sun-comet axis. Standard solar wind models predict symmetric patterns. This isn't symmetric. Sustained emission, not a brief flare. Continuous signal strong enough to compete with galactic X-ray background. Each anomaly requires stretching natural explanations. All of them together, you're either looking at the most extreme comet ever documented, an outlier so far beyond normal parameters it rewrites the physics, or you're looking at something that isn't a comet at all. Here's what keeps me up at night. XRISIM just showed us an interstellar object generating a 3 million kilometer X-ray halo with chemically structured emission, traceable across the sky for months, asymmetric in shape, and sustained at energy levels that make it visible alongside black holes and neutron stars. And the mainstream response? Interesting comet behavior. More study needed. No. This isn't interesting comet behavior. This is physically anomalous behavior that doesn't fit any model. Comets don't do this. Asteroids don't do this. And if interstellar object is now a category that includes X-ray emission zones twice the diameter of the sun, then we need to stop pretending we understand what we're looking at. The data is forcing us toward two conclusions. Either 3i Atlas represents comet physics at the absolute extreme edge of possibility, every parameter maxed out, every anomaly stacked, or it represents something we don't have a classification for yet, something that emits energy rather than just reflecting it, something that leaves a 3 million kilometer signature in high energy photons as it passes through our solar system. 
What do you think is generating that X-ray halo? Extreme outgassing, dense interstellar medium interaction, or internal energy source? Drop your theory below. Subscribe for the next data release and share this because when an object lights up the X-ray sky like a neutron star, calling it just a comet isn't science, it's denial.